Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. This is a video that I really want um, to make. This is a very important video to me. So, and I know I say every video, but I want to make sure this is shared with as many people as possible because I think this is an auction that can really help um, an issue that we're, we're seeing in the world right now. So um, I'm going to say it right now because I know you probably hate when I say it within the video, but please share this with as many people as possible, especially those who are perhaps looking for a watch or want to participate in this watch auction. Um, it really would mean a lot and it's gonna help go to a, all the funds are gonna end up going to a good cause um, The uh, if you are unaware there are um, extremely terrible bushfires that are occurring in Australia right now and um, This auction is plays a part um, With trying to fix that so um, please share this with as many people as you possibly can um, um, So yes, please do that and make sure you like the video as well um, Because if, it, if you like it, it probably will get shared with more people on YouTube. So please do that as well um, today we're going to be discussing a charity auction that has actually been organized by Time and Tide, which is an Australian uh, watch blog that um, all the funds that are that are raised during this auction are going to go to aid the Australian bushfire crisis that we're seeing right now. Um, if you aren't aware of what's actually going on there, there are bushfires that are occurring in the southeast in the southeastern part of Australia um, and they're really running rampant and, and Really destroying a lot of the land and a lot of the um, a lot of land as well as um, the habitats for a lot of animals that live in this area. Um, just to give you some perspective, I'd like to run through a couple of statistics just to tell to make sure you understand the severity of these bushfires. Um, so, as of the 14th of January 2020, um, there were 18.6 million hectares of bush that was burnt, which is a lot of land that um, ha has been just taken away from those who live in those areas. There are 5,900 5, buildings that were destroyed because of these fires, and at least 34 humans um, have died because of these bushfires. And that's just the humanistic elements of it. What's really impactful is the amount of animals that have been impacted by these bushfires. So just to give you some perspective on that, there are approximately 480 million animals that have been killed from this. This is individual animals. Think about how many species have probably been affected by these fires. Um, I know that you've probably seen a lot of videos and pictures of koalas that have been affected by these fires, but they're, to get, put these in uh, numbers terms for you to really understand, one third of all the koalas that, li that lived in, the, in New South Wales, which is a part of Australia, have been killed and approximately a third of their habitat has been completely wiped out. So those animals, the, the two thirds that have not been killed, are going back to a habitat that is one third smaller than it was previously. So you're looking at a huge amount of damage that's occurring to the population of koalas, but also to the pop to the habitat that they actually live in. Um, when it comes to the air quality that these fires are these fires are creating, the air quality rating is actually 11 times worse than the hazardous um, air quality rating that is normally said when these types of fires occur. 11 times worse. So right now we're those who are living in the areas are breathing in air that's 11 times worse than something that is considered uh, to be extremely deadly. Also, think about the animals that are probably breathing in these airs. It's just a terrible thing that's actually occurring. So I didn't mean to shock you with the beginning of this video. I didn't mean to um, kind of um, make you think, oh, the world's really falling apart. The reason I wanted to tell you these statistics and really give you an idea of and have you grasp, grasp the impact of these fires is just because I want you to understand that this is a serious issue and it's amazing that Time and Tide has decided to create an online auction that, that's going to help aid these fires. So the founder of Time and Tide, Andrew McCutcheon, uh, organized this auction. It's going to be an, it's an online auction that's taking place right now called Watch and Act. And he ended up sourcing 16 watches that are going to be auctioned off online. And you can place a bid and whatever is raised from that will end up 100% of whatever uh, the watches sell for will end up going to aid the fighting of these bushfires. Um, within these watches that that um, are being auctioned, two of them are actually unique pieces for this watch auction, and then nine are limited editions. So I'm going to go over some of the watches. And hopefully, it's going to spur some of your interests in case you are looking to you were looking at one of these watches, or perhaps just want to partake in this so that you can assist. Um, in, in aiding the, the fighting of these bushfires. Um, so I'm gonna go over them, I'll put up some pictures so you can see them. 
and I hope this is going to be um, nice for you guys to see the watches and perhaps spur some interest on for those of you who are involved in the watch industry. So the first watch is actually an H Moser. I have my computer in front of me. That's why I'm looking down. Um, the first watch is actually from H Moser. This is a Pioneer Sensor Seconds limited edition. It's number one of three. Um, and this is actually the personal watch of the YouTube bass player, Adam Clayton. Uh, Clayton. Um, this is a very typical H Moser watch. It's got a beautiful blue dial. It's very simplistic. It's a time only watch. Um, it's cool that it was owned by um, the bassist of U2, which is another element why it's probably um, going to go for a lot. Right now it's at $21,100, which is amazing. Um, there's been 50 bids on it. It's estimated to go between 10 and 20, so it's already broken through that. I'm looking forward to seeing what this ends up goes for because it's obviously a very hot watch. The second watch is a Hodinkee Oris Diver uh, 65 limited edition. This is one of the limited edition watches that they did in collaboration with uh, Oris. Hodinkee is obviously a watch blog. And this is number two of 250. Um, right now the bid is at $5,100. It was estimated to go between two and $4,000. This is a beautiful dial. It has um, kind of cream hour markers, beautiful, um, almost looks like it's like an aged gray, dot, uh, gray bezel. So it's a beautiful watch. Um, so that's the second watch. The next watch is one of the actually best wa women watches that's been released recently, and that's the Bulgari Serpentina uh, 18 karat yellow gold. Uh, this watch is basically in the shape of a snake, kind of wraps around your wrist. Um, it's uh, The current bid is at $8,100. Um, it's estimated to go a, a little bit above that, so it still has a little bit of time to go. So if you are looking for a Serpentina, then definitely look at that one. The fourth watch is a Longines Heritage Diver 1967. This is uh, a chronograph from Longines. It's got a, the complications are obviously a chronograph with a date function. It's got a red bezel. Um, currently the bid is at $2,500. It's estimated to go between $2,500 and $3,500. So there's still a little bit of time there. It's still within the estimated range. Um, I actually really like this watch. This is one of the watches that I, I actually recommend to a lot of people if they're looking to get a diver or to get a, um, a uh, chronograph. Um, I think this is a really beautiful watch. The next watch is from uh, Hublot. This is uh, a unique piece. This is one of the unique pieces that was made for the uh, Watch and Act auction. This is the Classic Fusion Watch and Act, Act Edition. The watch is basically... Um, it's a Hublot um, Classic Fusion. It has a really nice blue, kind of star, starry blue um, dial with a blue uh, strap. And if you flip it over, it actually has watch and act engraved on the, um, not engraved, it's probably uh, applied to the display case back. Right now, the bid is at uh, 12,900. This is estimated to go between 10,000 and 25,000. So within estimated range, but I can see that this one may end up really dr being driven uh, a lot higher because it is a limited edition for this auction. The next watch is what I actually don't know much about. It's a uh, Nick Haku Mark I limited edition, number one of 200. Um, this feels like a, um, a pilot's watch, pilot's inspired watch, an aviation watch. It's got a very big dial, very clean, um, very clean looking dial, uh, really nice big onion crown. It definitely is a pilot inspired watch. I don't know enough about it to really pass judgment on it, so I'm not going to, but um, it looks like the movement was actually assembled in Australia, so it could be uh, an Australian watchmaker. I don't know enough about it, but I wanna make sure that you guys at least know what's going on. It's estimated to go between $1,500 and $3,000. Right now it's at 3,600, so clearly a lot of people like this watch. <laughs> the next watch is another Pilots inspired watch. This is a Zenith unique piece called the Pilot Rescue Australian Rescue Edition. This is another one of the limited editions for this watch auction that was created by Zenith. I love the fact that these brands are getting behind this, this watch auction and really making this one of their priorities when it comes to um, creating pieces. This is a unique piece. It's estimated to go between 6,000 and 10,000 US dollars. Right now the bid is at $10,000, so it's right at the top of that estimated price. It's um, a very classic Zenith watch, beautiful big crown, big big um, dial. You can really see it a lot. There's Pilot Extra Special um, written on the dial. It's, it's a really beautiful piece. And obviously it has that really aviation inspired uh, strap, which is cool. 
The next watch is from Aris. This is the Aris James Morrison Academy of Music Limited Edition. This is number two of 1,234. Um, this watch, I don't actually know much about this watch, but it does have an absolutely beautiful blue dial, which is extremely popular. Um, I, it might be because it's supposed to be the theme of water in order to try and dampen these fires. That's probably what they were going for here. Um, with sourcing so many watches with blue dials. It has these really nice kind of gold hour markers. The seconds has, looks like a tuning fork at the end of the seconds hands, which is kind of cool. Um, it's estimated to go between $1,500 and $3,000. The, um, the, it is currently sitting at $2,500. That's what the current bit is. So um, that's where we're at there. The next watch is um, a Seiko. Um, that's a Seiko Prospects SPB101J. Um, this is another kind of chunky watch from Seiko. Uh, it's got a crown at, um, at four o'clock. Um, this is a very classic Seiko watch. If you are a Seiko collector, you've probably got a Prospects. Um, black dial, black bezel. Uh, this S is estimated to go between 500 and 1,500 US dollars. Right now, the bid is currently sitting at 1,300, so there's still room for you to be within estimate, and I think it's still a very approachable watch, especially because every single dollar that is raised will end up going to helping these fires. The next watch is a watch that I don't know much about. This is a Bausele Pilot All Black Limited Edition, number three of 75. Again, I don't know um, a lot about this watch. Um, it's definitely a lot different than your typical um, watch. It's kind of tilted onto one side, so you're reading it at an angle. Um, it's got these massive circles for three, three, six, and three, six, nine, and the twelve hour markers. The date is also kind of over to the side, which is kind of an interesting feature. It reminds me of obviously it's got a very um, kind of like a um, historic pilots looking watch. So um, that's that's this watch. It's estimated to go between five hundred and one thousand two hundred US dollars. It's currently sitting at one thousand dollars, so it still has a lot of time. Um, a lot of space to, to grow and I think because of its uniqueness, especially because it's a limited edition, there still is a lot of um, room for it to kind of increase in price. The next is from Frédéric Constant. It is a Classics Index Automatic. This is a black dial, black strap, very, very um, dress inspired watch. It's estimated to go between $500 and $1,500. The bid is currently sitting at $1,200. So within estimates range. This is a perfect dress watch that you can probably pick up. Um, and imagine that you're at a black tie event, you're wearing this watch, and you can say that every dollar that you spent on this watch went to um, aid bushfires. I think that's a really, really amazing story to have with it. The next watch is a Doxa Sub 200 130 year limited edition. It's number 17 of 130. This is obviously a diver watch, 130 years of probably this this brand being around, it's got a really nice date function, black dial, um, black and kind of like a, a, a aged gold um, accents on the bezel. It's got a really nice red distinct uh, hour hand or seconds hand, excuse me, uh, on a beads of rice bracelet, which is something you don't really see very often, but it's actually extremely comfortable. The estimated price is between one thousand and two hundred and $2,500 is currently sitting above estimates at $3,100, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I think Docs has a very collectible brand. There's some very hardcore Docs of, um, collectors, so that's, that's probably why this is sitting above estimates. The next watch is an Alpina. This is actually a, um, it's called the Full Black 4 Manufacture Flyback Chronograph. The flyback function is a type of chronograph um, it is a type of uh, chronograph uh, function where basically you can reset it and reset the chronograph while it's still running and it will continue to run from zero once you reset it. Uh, it's completely black. Um, it is estimated to go between 4,000 and 6,000. It's currently sitting at 2,000, so a little bit less interest in this one. However, um, every dollar counts, so um, we'll see what ends up happening with this one. The next watch is another watch from Frédéric Constant. It is the Manufacturer Moonface Fratello Exclusive Limited Edition of 29. This is um, an extremely uh, beautiful watch. I think this was a collaboration between Fratello and Frédéric Constant. 
to create this watch, it has um, two sub dials, one with the date function and one with the moon phase. It has a really beautiful slate gray dial. The case is actually looks stepped. Um, the wrist shots of this watch look absolutely beautiful. It has a black strap on it. Um, it really does look beautiful. Actually, the strap is blue, according to this. If you flip it over, you've got a really nice look at a kind of gold um, rotor. You can see the blue screws. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, this watch is estimated to go between 1,500 and 3,000 US dollars. It's currently sitting at 2,600. So within estimates right now, I can totally see this going for a lot more, especially because it's a limited edition, but also it's just really, really beautiful. The next watch is from Arado. This is a Hyperchrome Ashley Barton limited edition engraved one of 1, 123. This is a woman's watch. It's a white dial, white bracelet, uh, got a diamond bezel on it. I don't know a lot about this watch. It's estimated to go between 4,500 and 5,500. Um, it's currently sitting at 3,000. So if you are looking for a watch, perhaps for your wife, girlfriend, uh, mother, um, any significant other who would wear this watch, this is a perfect watch and the money would go to a good cause. The next watch, and I've see, I see that there's actually been some additions to this list. Um, so the one that we're gonna, the, the ones that we're gonna talk about, there may be some others that, that pop up. The, the next one is a watch from Bell & Ross. It's the Ahmed Siddiqui and Sons Bell & Ross BR0392 green um, Arabic steel. Um, this watch is a very classic uh, Bell & Ross. It's a square case. However, it has uh, Arabic numerals um, for 369 and 12. This watch also has a really distinct green dial. So if that is your color, um, this is a really good uh, watch for you to have. Um, it's estimated to go between $3,000 and $5,000. It's currently sitting at $5,500, which is absolutely beautiful. Probably because it, of its uniqueness, this is why it's above um, estimates. Um, another really great watch that they have in this. The next watch that is a part of this auction is from Mont Blanc. It's the Heritage Automatic. It has this salmon dial, which is something that I think is actually very underrated within the watch world. Um, with this brown strap, it's a very beautiful watch. Um, estimated, it estimated to sell between 1,500 and 3,000 US dollars. It's going to, right now, it's the bid is at 2,600, so I really think it's gonna burst straight through that. The next watch is from uh, Baltic Watches. It's the Aquascape prototype. This is a prototype watch from Baltic. I don't know much about this, this brand. However, it is a unique piece for Watch and Act. If you flip it over, you will see that the logo for this auction is actually on the case back. It's estimated to go between 500 and 1,500. It doubled its high end estimate and it's currently sitting at 3,000 US dollars. I think this still has room to go a lot higher, especially because it is a prototype um, from Baltic. I think um, this just makes me really happy that people are, are, are taking, taking notice of this. The next watch is um, from William Wood. It's a unique piece of Valiant Watch and Act Edition. This watch, um, is from a company called William Wood. I don't know much about it. This is another limited edition. I, you see, these watches have been added since I made my script for this watch. Uh, I said there were, there were gonna be two unique pieces. There's actually a lot more that, that are here. I don't know enough about this company to really, um, to really uh, say anything about it, but if you flip it over, you'll see a koala on the back of the, the on the display case back, which is again, another beautiful, um, beautiful thing for this, um, for this cause. The, estimate, the estimates are between 1,000 US dollars and 3,500. We're currently sitting at 1,100. I think this is one that was added um, quite recent, recently. So it probably hasn't been in front of people's minds that much. So that's probably why. The next one is actually, I, I didn't even know this was on here. This is a Rolex Datejust reference 1601, retailed by Tiffany, by Tiffany and Company, which is um, it's the famous Tiffany signed watch. This is a watch I didn't even know that was part of this auction, but I'm looking at it now. Um, the It's a very classic watch. The Rolex Datejust um, reference 1601, 1603s, they become extremely popular within within um, the vintage collecting world. You got beautiful gold hour markers. 
um, really nice kind of uh, cream dial. Um, this estimate, the estimates are between 4,500 and 7,000 US dollars. It's currently sitting at 4,200. This is again, a recent watch for this auction. So probably not enough eyes on this to really um, say that it's been there. There's a Tag Heuer that's also in here. I, uh, that's a limited edition for watch and act. This is making me very, very happy. This is, so Lot 22, this is a Tag Heuer unique piece, Octavia Isograph watch and act edition. The Isograph was released last year at Basel World. This is a, um, the green version. It's got a green bracelet, green dial. Um, if you look at the, again, flip it over and look at the case back, it's got the watch and act logo with the koala above and the Tag Heuer logo below it. This watch is estimated to go between 4,000 and 10,000 US dollars. The, um, the um, current bid is at 2,300. I think this is a recent watch that's, that's been added. So again, probably not enough eyes on it to really have a fair estimate right now, but I can totally see it going for a lot more, especially because it's a limited edition isograph. The last watch on this list is from uh, Oris. It's taking a little, little, little while to load. It's a, it's an Oris Diver 65. I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Um, I, I can say, and I, I, I should have said this in the beginning of the video, every single dollar that, that I make off of this video, is go I'm going to take that and put it into um, and send it to aid the bushfires. Um, I'll go into that in a second. This is um, the Oris uh, Diver 65 Honey Edition um, from the Rake and Revolution. This was obviously a collaboration between the Rake, the Revolution, and Oris. Um, it has a orange dial, kind of, it looks like almost like a, like a burning orange dial, a black bezel, black dial, yellow hour, hour markers, really beautiful watch. It's currently sitting at the estimated are between two and four thousand US dollars. It's currently setting at one thousand one hundred. Probably still not not enough time to really um, have a fair estimate there. Um, but those are the watches that are currently being auctioned. If you are interested in any of those watches, please check out uh, Time and Tides Auction. I'll be sure to put a link in the description to the, to the auction. Um, there are another, f let's say, uh, four days left of this auction, so still enough time for you to get get some bids in. Like I said um, earlier, just before I spoke about the last Oris that is part of this auction, every single dollar that I make off of um, Google ad revenues, I'll take that money and put it into um, making, uh, taking, I'll take that <laughs> uh, money and I'll, I'll send it to um, one of the charities or one of the organizations that are working to um, try and fight these bushfires that are currently raging through Australia. This is why auctions are so amazing because you can have um, you can have watches that end up selling for a lot more than they really typically are. Only Watch is a great example of this, but I think this is a kind of approachable exa uh, example where people who want to collect watches like a Seiko or an Oris or people who are a little bit more, it's a little bit more um, attainable for a lot of other some some individuals. This is why watch auctions are so amazing because we can aid these types of issues that are occurring in our world with these types of auctions. So if you are interested in one of these watches, please check them out. Again, I, if you can um, send any aid to, to aid these Australian, these Australian wildfires, it really would go a long way. Um, even if you aren't purchasing one of these watches, try send just a little bit of money to try and aid it. Like I said, every single dollar that I make off of this video from Google Ads will be sent um, to aid these uh, wildfires. Um, so watch all of the ads um, in its entirety so that I can take this money and send it there. I'll be sure to put up, um, you know, certificates and all that on our Instagram um, once that happens. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video where we talk about these watches. Be sure to hit the like button so it's share with as many people. Share this with as many people as you possibly can who are looking to buy a watch. Or perhaps just want to engage in this type of auction. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next.